Aloha, fuckheads. Dan Patrick with the ghost of Tony Dungy and human growth Harrison on the big fucking football show. Back to recap another dick punch of a Patriots loss. Yeah, the Patriots seem to be making a habit of shit in the bed when it counts the most the last couple of years. After winning all those Super Bowls, now they seem to be afraid of winning big games the way I'm afraid of solid food. Let's discuss fourth and two. Dude, if I was still on the Pats and Belichick said, mm, let's go for it on fourth and two, I'd have been like, are you out of your motherfucking mind, hoodie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd have been so mad I might have grown a second head just so I'd have a second mouth to scream at his ass with. What the fuck is that all about? All right, so I guess Harrison would have punted. What about you, Dungy Ghost? Do you punt it to Manning or go for the win? I might have gone for it only because the Patriots' D was playing softer than a soiled baby diaper in the fourth. And there's nothing Peyton Manning loves attacking more than a diaper full of poo. Look, I'd rather have Aretha Franklin tap dance on my dick than go for it on fourth down, but Belichick's a fucking lunatic with brass footballs. Sometimes you win and sometimes you kick yourself in those footballs and hand a victory over to motherfucking Satan Manning. Time to ice up your crotch, move on, beat the goddamn Jets, and make the playoffs. Also, F you, Maroney. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, Pats fans should be invincible by now. For the Ghost and HGH, I'm DP. GFY, everyone.